Hey, guy, don't tell me. You would have got yourself to uh, 200 Pokemon for the Tomato Meal of Fancy. It was hard work. Well, look at you bringing on that effort. I'd like to see that in the kid. You probably know more about the Pokemon in the Tomato than I do, and I got obsessed. I guess you're deserve that hot tip. Take a look at these orders, would you? See those strange Pokemon? That's this one's called Gouging Fire, and that other one is the Raging Bolt. Totally unknown Pokemon and totally unknown places. If they were, it would be a huge deal. Really, those places are in Paldea. If any of going? Yeah, I do. Wow, are they famous spots? <laughs> I want to visit them! <laughs> Sadly not famous, Baron, I'm sorry. Of course, you know how it is these days, right? Those photos could totally be fakes. But if you want to know for sure, maybe you could try to go search this Pokemon out. So you can photo again anytime you like, just give me a shout. If I was not a good boy, I've got a few survey skills. There's one of them right now. Hey, buddy. Looking pretty darn cool there. Gouging fire. Pretty sure you're gonna be resistant to. Okay, neutral effective. Stop! Let's power down! Fool! It can be easy to do a mask, but what was the fun in that? <laughs> Clearly goes in this fireball. Oh, okay. This thing looks like it could be friendly. Oh, come on! God damn it! I could have been the one! I thought it could have been the one, my right dear. Come on! Luxury ball. You might look so you might look look so easy in this thing. One. 
Burning Bulwark. No idea what that move does, because uh, <laughs> it clearly failed. Funny for me, a board? No. Dusk Bomb, maybe? Technically, we're inside a cave. I mean, I, I know not, but... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I, I, I sort of hate how pseudo white I was on that one. <laughs> Counting Fire, the Paradox Pokémon. There are scant few reports of this creature being sighted. One short video is also rampaging and spouting pillars of flame. Okay, what does B Bulwark do? So this basically is just a Fire-type version of Spike's Shield. Interesting. If I'm not mistaken... Chances are it's down here or it's... It's actually over there, and I think about it. There it is! The other, the other paradox. Why go? Thunderclap. Let's go with the funny, let's go with the green ball. Nope, okay. Dragon Hammer. Ow. You look fast. One shake. Dive ball? Yeah, I, I, I'm just going around the here. One, two, da! Don't get me wrong, Reach Ball. You were, you were sort of thinking that. You were sort of thinking that. You just, you sort of were.
Amazing footage! Ow! Pokeball, why not? Ah. One, two, come on, not again. Come on, pal, you need to level with me here. This clearly isn't gonna work out. Yeah, I, I got it. You're not careful enough, I think. Six again. <laughs> Once again with the dive ball winner, Warden. Board to pay our dog's Pokemon. It's said to incinerate everything around it with lightning bolts from its fur. Very little is known about this creature. What? Oi, that Pokemon? Isn't that the Pokemon from the picture? That's real life gorging fire, just like the shape of its head! The woman saying that this fellow can make magma water from the ground just by warming. <laughs> if that were true, then this thing would be a real fierce threat to face. I think we just have a couple of photos here. This community of the Pokemon Shorty is real too. We'll pop back to you if you find it, okay? <laughs> oh, Poen, I already did. Oh, we're waging bolt! That neck is. Boy, that neck! It's always too much to fit in one frame! Who has it? This fellow could cover the whole sky with dark clouds and bring lightning crashing down just by swinging a long neck around. Let's have a couple of photos. Wow, you're actually in front of both. I can't even be surprised. That's just like you, boy. Between you and me, I was having a hard time focusing on my own work. I'm gonna keep my mind off of those photos. You saved me. I know I didn't promise any rewards or anything, but I gotta thank you for putting the recipe to rest. Here you go. This spice is real, a real catch. It's warp ball. <laughs> I get it. It's weird how much mystery is left in the world, isn't it? When you're a kid, you can just run wholeheartedly whatever you want, but it's not so easy when you get older. You keep on going. Find a known Pokemon, have great adventures, do it for me. And now I take a better get back to work. And I... <laughs> I guess it's that. She's still here for the moment, so... Who knows what, what else might, might show up from there. The parent reward for the Scarlet side, uh, I'm here back here in... The violet version for the pillin board for that. Alright, so uh, had to do a little bit of catching up on the Pokedexes here because when I first arrived here, uh, Perrin wasn't here because I didn't complete the Blood Moon Beast quest line. So does that. Thankfully, though, I already had the means necessary to talk to her again. Near Klaus Borders. And someplace higher up, right where we can see it from the third station. That's this one's called Iron Border, and the other one is Iron Crown. Totally on a Pokemon, totally on them places. Over here, maybe? Yep, there it is, right there. 
does have a graphic design of those, bud. Yeah. Iron Crown is going to be gone in a quick ball. I mean, the color scheme works. A little. Not even. <laughs> You two damage. Oh god. So probably start chunking now. Two shakes. Dying. On oh, again, side. One. Try it again. One. Ow. One heel coming up. Dang. Come on. Fine, let's find something else ridiculous and crazy. Uh, luxury ball, why not? God, for people? Does my not catching gears this? One sec. Dive ball. You're blue enough, I guess. Blue enough for one sec. Net ball. What is it with you? One sec, say. Great ball! There's only one I would go. What? I caught it. One. Uh, put me a ball. Cause again, why not? Not even. Uh, fast, maybe? You seem fast enough. Could be as bad as one. Yeah, it just looks like it's gonna get killed. Especially with that quid, yeah. So, oh, we are, oh, oh, yeah, we're fine still, we're fine. Power of friendship?
No. Look, buddy, I would keep it with you. You seem heavy enough. You're metal. Just one again, I guess. How about a dream ball? Do you enjoy your dreams? Do I want to dream? Nope. One. Now look at this nephew that I just found. Two. Of course, the moment I saw the enough sense as fast as the time of all works. God damn it. <sighs> Iron Crown, the Paradox Pokemon. There was supposedly an incident in which a large shining crater got everything around it to pieces. Then the most is known about it. They do indeed want to give a nickname because I've already done so with Iron Lease. <laughs> and in case it wasn't enough to to others, uh, it's basically just oh yeah, turning the names I have for my Pokemon Kajinkas based on the original source of, of justice just roboticized, as if they were like robots. Wow, you just ran out of your, your signature move, Dan. Oh, there it is. Ouch. Traffic, please. I try. Hey, buddy. Go on! Iron Boulder. Which I'm possibly am going to assume it's either fighting or... Maybe walk. Oh jeez! Too much, Monk! I know someone in the comment section is probably gonna say this. Oh, you didn't probably, you didn't need to reset that. It was it was gonna be perfectly fine. Look, it's it, it's only natural for me to reset in case something bad goes wrong. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna be too too used to the fact that the, that the modern games are, are way too generous for the one good sometimes. Okay, maybe it was a little too much bonk. Let's try this. Now, go oh crap. Oh, just the right amount. Just the right amount. Just 
So the fact that you need to try to fall quick one, that's all bad, but oh well. Here we are, I guess. Two! Maybe does it work? It's only got like 25%. Not even close. I tried. You look like something that needs some love. Tracking totally needs all the love, including its future self. And I tried. Maybe you like the moon, and we take 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 this into a ball, and we take the moon. Okay. I'm just cramming a lot of stuff down to say just be on the commentary while I just fall. I just chuck balls at it. Sweet way of saying that, but it is what it is, I guess. So whatever it is, it's not very effective against a psychic. Which the only thing that comes to mind is really fighting, but even then, with the typing that I have for Duskbane and the, the Quasma, it's... Should we do this with damage? I'm, I'm amazed it's, it's dealing not very effective damage against... Iron Crown as well. <laughs> you totally don't look like a wild type, but here we go anyways. <laughs> what is this? What is with these games giving me hope that I can possibly have stupid capsules and stupid dumb balls? Maybe you just need a power offensive, pal. You've been here, you've been alone too long. They was considering it. They were, they, they were considering it. Okay, yeah, Sacred Swords needs to be doing neutral damage. It's just, well, what type is. I'm probably gonna find out once I capture it, but. <laughs> what typing is Mighty Cleaves to make a sword not dealing super. <laughs> not, not effective damage against. Iron Crown and. Nequas with Ogaleo, and yet deals. heavy damage to. to Ogapon. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Does this count as a cave? Mm, it, the game was considering it. The game was cons considering it. I that was the RNG that, that was just going in, in our favor. Okay. If you're doing that, I need to do this too. Sorry. Consider the following. Fall. No. Okay. Dive ball? We're not in the water segment, so... Nest ball? Two. Ow. The only other options I'm thinking of where it's not very effective is like, like Mighty Cleave is a flying time move. It's probably the only other option I'm thinking of because flying doesn't is not very effective against steel types. Ah, oh, come on! You were so close to being in a heal ball. We've been totally obnoxious and weird and completely out of line for you. Come on, let's try this again, buddy. You're slightly low enough. You can use the heal. No, you don't want it. Okay. I know Bug isn't very good against steel because you know, try having insects by through steel and yeah. Me yes. Two sakes. Has enough turns passed with the Hound Ball to work again? Fringy <laughs> that. When in doubt, Time Ball. Walk and Psychic. Ah, okay. I mean, I guess not as all about it. it makes sense why. Why? Ivy, Ivy Quadro did a lot of damage. I am Bordo, the Paradox Pokemon. It's named after a mysterious object recorded in an old book. Its body seems to be metallic. Ah, Rock type, okay. I don't know why I didn't think Rock type. To use a wheel, the light that it has accumulated on top of its head to cleave the target. This move, this move hits even if the target protects itself. Ah, interesting. I might have been imagining that it actually was effective against 
Oh, come on then. Though, uh, shoot. That attack status is. But it's not like the bone nature that, uh. That really, really sucks. Am I gonna war with it anyways? Absolutely. That Pokemon, is that a Pokemon from the picture? That's a real life iron border! That thing is built! Wow! We will say that this fellow charges the torrents with energy, I can put it, then he's done a path for everything in his path. <laughs> oh, hey, they did, just turn around. Oh, we are on ground. It's so, so mecha. Who has it that this fellow can fire off beans from a torrent without a cup for anything at all? <laughs> The future is weird like that. Alright, so that's said and done. Uh, time for these two to be transferred to Scarlet and Violet real quick. Oh, Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> be transferred to Scarlet and Violet, say. Uh, that'll be the fight. Revive it. Restore my team's list. That'll, that'll work. <laughs> A free Master Ball! I think it's a special diploma in Buckingham, which is magnificent achievement. Because you do like to decide why not over every week at Cabinet Center and have some time. With you, the Master Ball. It was something with serious object introduced in the paranormal magazine as the cutting edge weapon shaped like a cobalion. It was something a Pokemon described in a dubious magazine as a Tobacchion that had been modified by an evil organization! What I wonder is that they were referring to, to possibly hitting at team. No, it has to be an organization on the team. By the way, though, likely possibly plasma if they somehow reforge in the future or something, I don't know. <laughs> Do be a serious aside. Hey there, Goy. Looks like he caught 240 species of Pokemon into two areas. Hold on. Does that mean you've thrown in the entire thing? I'm mean, technically we're missing one, but that's locked behind the freaking. <laughs> that's locked behind the mystery, mystery event thing, thanks, Game Freak. Yes, yes it does! You completed the Blueberry Pokedex! Congratulations! We should all have it. We should have all the data we need on the Pokemon that we get now, thanks to you. This is really impressive, you know. Not a single Blueberry County student has managed it yet. Here, you deserve a special study to celebrate. I'm pretty sure this capsule is special. And over to Mark Tom. Having one of these mysterious and unique charms makes it more likely you're kind of a Pokemon with a mark. Why, hello, Dr. Saiwano, and hello to you too, Master Koi. This is going well, I hope. Welcome, Billy! You're not going to believe a Koi just accomplished! Upon my word! It's easy making quite a splash here at Blueberry Academy, as you have elsewhere. <laughs> I knew I picked the right student for the program. Well, Director Saiwano has given us a hearty pound on the back, allow me to award you with a small gift. Soon to achieve great feats of this deserve to be recognized for hard work. This congratulatory message, penned by the co company that cert certifies Pokedex completion, is for you. Burgers! I reconfigure the Pokedex apps today, you may review your diploma there anytime you like. You haven't changed at all, have you, Veli? You've always been as good at this sort of thing. Oh no, this is really is nothing. Also, Director, once again, I must insist that you address me properly in front of our student. I'm just glad you transfer out of my academy, it's been such a success, Koi. I hope you keep spending more some quality to try with all the Pokemon in the little area. Uh, Director Saiwano, I do appreciate your kind words, and I hate to interrupt. But I would like you to confirm that you will no longer refer to me as very in front of... Dr. Simon, are you even listening to me? For thirty, even at the eh? Take a call today soon, though. Oh, guys, I think we need to go to bed early. Alright. <laughs> Let's see how many snacks I've acquired in the, in the sense of trying to complete the Pokédex in the meanwhile. 
Probably haven't gotten all of them yet, but probably closer to getting them all. 40 solo quests. The Y code tweet. Yes, there was a day me and old Waiko went racing up a mountain together. Not Waiko, it's no style shots for sure. Kept dancing past me and taking the lead. I was huffing and puffing and muttering some colorful things as I chased that wily Pokemon. But in the end, we were sitting here side by side atop that peak, gazing out, out upon the massive and majestic desert that covers the land to the north. I love that. Yada 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 I was off doing a spot of fog climbing over in Western Powder at the time. The weather was sure, was sure something else that day. Sandstorms were kicking up the whole desert. My mouth was as sandy as the ground. I was about ready to call it quits when... Motors appeared in a blaze of glory, so bright you could see it, see it through the blowing sands. I don't know if it was a bit but it certainly did, and I completed my client that day. Sixty. Latios. I think it's a Latios tweet. If I really wear that one. One day I went smack dab into it, breezing as you please, while I was up in northwest pa northeast Paldea, see? We couldn't speak each other's language, but I got the feeling it was telling me to follow it. So I gave chase when Latios flew off, and I ended up climbing these mighty steep cliffs. Next time I looked up, I realized I'd come into a small lake that stood in between some jagged cliffs. It was a secret spot, alright. <laughs> secret area discovered. <laughs> 70. Solgaleo. I mean, I'm honestly not surprised. I'd gone to pay Paddy's Pokemon League a little visit at that fine building they've got there, and also smiling destruction from the outside, but one of the staff has noticed me and wisely invited me for a better look. They took me upon to the opposite face, and it all done, all done up was that I. Oh, logo. <laughs> I thought that he was mentioning a name, but no, that's just, that's just a lowercase L. <laughs> I was looking toward the academy and enjoying the view when a shadow fell across us. I kid you not, young friend. It was Sogaleo itself. It was only there a moment before it dashed right off and forget in a flash, so I couldn't even get a how do you do, but, but it was magnificent. Eighty. Articuno. I have any way on that one. See, I'd found this lovely pond up in the snowy peaks of Powder and had decided to go for a dip, hankering for a bit of cold water swimming. When, would you believe it, Articuno comes swooping down along the nearby waterfall and starts flying up out above me, singing away. I was tickled pink, I was, when I'm merely singing with Articuno even as the sun set and the moon rose. Before I knew it, it was morning again. Ninety. Kupfu. If I feel well, that one. I was venturing off the powder air when I saw Kupfu training. I am with a fight up to it and asked, Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hard, work, uh, hard work training, are you? Why, the two of us got on like a house on fire. We trained together for a time, until Kupfu seemed to be itching to move on. But, it, let's be a guess, it plucked up a hall of the bamboo sprouts that grew nearby, just for me. Hundreds of quests. You've been doing a lot, I see. Groudon tweet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I got one Pokemon, one of my phase in, in one version. I know it's in the other one, though. I did buy our Groudon once back in the days and I was fetching around Pound A. You know the huge case system under that one town? I never can you, I never can remember the name. Anyway, the name doesn't matter, except to say that, the, that that's the place where I saw that fella. I thought to myself, well, for that ain't Groudon, and I gave a big wave of my arms to say hello. But that's what you're supposed to do when it faces the continent Pokemon, I ask you. So anyway, I did that, and then showed me its huge fears and claws that it did. <laughs> I know if it was saying hi or not back, but it was still fining. 110! Rest your arms. <laughs> I guess to, to my... Favorite mascot of the series, or like in the other first, like that's fine. <laughs> I get one of them. I get one of them, let's call it. See, I saw a restaurant with my own eyes. I knew a town that I passed through in Powder. 
It was a terrible one, a lot of hard work and folk lived, the time to get to Hand City. I climbed up to a nice height to look up out upon all the hard work caused into the landscape. I was just mocking myself with a fine show of effort it was when I see to view presence behind me. And when I turned, BAM! The was fresh grammar, right on my shoulder. I figured it must have it must have like good old fastest hard work too. Find all wish grammar to give it my best. 120. How many more how much more do I gotta go for this anti? I really wear that one. Do you believe it? I, si I simply ran smack dab into into our adventure crowd in. Now I searched that down with smiles and everywhere you look. There is another hole. Well, there was anything popping through those caves like I was ha having a grand old time. I don't like to be outshone, so I did my best to keep up with the fella. Woo-wee, what a chase. We ended up all the way out the coast, side by side, as the gaze out over the endless blue. You'll be sure to give it my best now. Oh my goodness, how have I reached at this point? Zapdos tweet. Okay, no, maybe I'm just only climbing over them in one game, okay. I don't know. I climbed right to the tippy top of one of those lighthouses you've gotten powered in. I was taking in the view, looking over a distant city. When, would you believe it, the heavens broke wide right open and the rain started pouring down on me. I thought I'd be get, better get out of that mess in a hurry, so I turned the head down again. Then the whole sky lit up like a huge crash of lightning, and then Zapdos came flying out of nowhere. It blew right by me, quick as a flash. Anyway, this is looking for my best. Yeah, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like the crossbar for Crazy and Kira were locked behind the Union Circle. Friend group thing is, which means I gotta do this with friends. And have friends help me out with that. Whoopsie, heckin' do, that's... That's gonna be fun. Sweet, 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 and nice, Asian. Ah, the euphoria of synchronization. Oh, well, hello there. Oh, my name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment I'm working on? That is weird. Let's over to the test area then. We need to have a Pokemon out of its wall for this experiment. Just let me know what's anybody. Synchronize! The mind of feelings are synchronized with those of your Pokemon. And you are synced up, your Pokemon will move as directed by his thoughts. The thoughts move movement test. It was free in front of your Pokemon. Try moving over there. Yes, it's so in sync. I was able to get some news very easy data for now, so thank you so much. No sort of very trouble. Free more candies. It'd be, it'd be a little bit more work than the last one, but I'll give you something really nice afterward. Yeah. Sink on eyes. This is the second time synchronizing, you should be able to do all sorts of things. So let's begin the battle test. Try taking on some of the other Pokemon in the area. Hmm, I don't know, maybe like this item over here? Yeah, I can acquire that. I'm kind of slow though. The best second season I've ever seen. So someone's trying to put this amazing adventure to good use. The Synchro Machine. A device that synchronizes your mind and feelings with your Pokemon so that, so, so that you, you, can work, you, you can work as well. It's still a prototype, hence it's unrefined appearance. It's still a prototype, so it's designed to look a little uninspiring. 
But you can try to synchronize whenever you want. Try it out with lots of different Pokemon. You can work as synchronous to Pokemon that you have walking around with you. Hold down the open and then press the R to begin synchronizing. Just remember that, that synchronous machine only works in the, in the terrarium. <laughs> I only specifically works in here because it'd be too much of a pain to do, to do that elsewhere. Come on, come on! Feast and eyes on my special garments! Come on, come on! Special garments await thee! Oh, why, if it, if it is not Koi? I will thank thee for thine aid during our recent study session. It was truly of great assistance. What are you up to? Ah, I see I have piqued thine interest. It is clear that has the keen eye for quality. You see, I, Atticus, had a dream that granted me an inspiration for a range of original apparel. I created the garments, then journeyed here to sell them, with the marketeer's permission, of course. It occurs at this fine market are apparelled via auction, as thou mayest so well, well already know. Therefore, whosoever craves my wares must just triumph in a battle of bargaining. Who amongst you who you covet the replica leader bag? I offer a unique creation designed by designed by mine own hand, the replica leader bag. Bidding shall commence at at one hundred. <laughs> That's that which join the auction. <laughs> Finally, this is gonna be freaking. Hi, it's Agar. <laughs> I would have waited. <laughs> Splendid. The rest of us toward to get it to the field of battle. Do I just get to see what it is now? I labored long into the night fastening this creation to replica leader bag. I asked for one one hundred poke as, as the stone price. Now begin thy bidding, noble client. Hey, have at ye! One hundred five. Oh, I bid for coin for one hundred five. The highest bid rests at one hundred twenty-five. Wait here, who amongst you has the spirit to bid again? 130 160 Oh my goodness Oh my goodness 190 Oh my goodness <laughs> These are some freaking rich people right here what a big spender! 245! 265! Jesus, my man! 285! Oh my god! 310! Jeez! Three hundred and thirty-five! My goodness! Stop that! You started that now! Three hundred and sixty-five! My god, that's too much money though! The fuck, man? Feels me with great joy to see thee put this garment crashed by mine own hand. Rest assured, that was not the last of my works. Look forward to leading to my next revelation. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna seriously need money. Hey, it's Morty's bag! At least I think. It kind of looks like Morty's bag. This is fine. This is fine. 